Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. So, uh, on last trading day, Nvidia dropped by 10% and uh, pre-market is up by uh, 1.44%. And if you look at the stock chart of Nvidia, this is the, this is the daily stock chart. You can see, wow, a very large red candle here. The, the last time we saw a very large red candle was around here. And you can see the damage that uh, this red candle has done. So, um, where would NVIDIA go? Is it going to go uh, lower or is there going to be a bounce back up? That is one of the questions we want to look at today. So, why did NVIDIA drop? Now, I've been uh, saying in my analysis that this is a very important area of support because you can see how price go down, find support go down, Go down find support and at uh here the last two trading day we have a doji that signals indecision among market participants and the doji was sitting at the rising 50 ma and uh, usually when you see dojis at the 50 ma and at a very important support area it tells that um the buyers are not sure whether it's going up the sellers are not sure whether it's going up uh, going down or not but this is a very important area and because the support has uh, been uh, challenged many times, eventually it broke down. And when it broke down, it broke down with a fury, a very uh, big sell-off uh, for the day. So if you look at the 5-minute chart, you can see that um, the stock here for the day went up, went down all the way like this. Now, in my previous analysis, I mentioned about uh, how this um, NVIDIA was... Uh, drifting up and if it broke below this uh, trend line we could see sell off okay and a continuation uh, sell off and that's what it did it kept down lower tried to stay in support but you can see um, when the stock is below the 200 day moving average and also below the 50 ma and uh, 20 ma you can see this is like a waterfall kind of fall Declining 200 MA in the 5 minutes, never want to touch the stock. Declining 50 MA, declining 20 MA, and that's all the way down throughout the whole day. After, especially after it broke this support level, you can see that there is a... Uh, here there is a breakdown of this consolidation. And then we have another breakdown of, uh, here. Right, consolidation consolidation breakdown and then we have another consolidation breakdown all these are uh, selling opportunities for day traders especially when the 20 ma and 50 ma are declining in railroad tracks short here short here short here where you put the stop loss here and of course you need to cover by the end of the day because there's a possibility it might uh, go back up gap up uh, right so uh, usually the normal rule is never buy stocks when uh, it's below the 5 minute 200 MA. Now, um, at this moment, we, we go back to the daily chart, the stock has a big red candle here. And here is a gap up actually, and here there is a support area around here. Let me just draw the support area for you to see. So we are very near the support area. So even if it uh, goes up, kind of sell off, you want to see whether this support area holds or not. And if it does not hold, there might, might, there might be a possibility that it might continue to move down. Now, whether the if today we have a bounce back up this area, which is a past support, let me just remove it and color it red for you so that you can see it clearly as a resistance area right this because support once broken if you remember your technical analysis will become a new resistance area so if it goes back up here you might find resistance and if you cannot break above this resistance area we might resume uh, selling and Actually, we are might be starting a new downtrend. Okay, so you want to look at this uh, resistance area and see whether the stock can break above here. If not, you know it might be a continuation sell off until it meets the 
pricing 200 MA, which might be a very good area to pick up stocks in uh, what we call long-term strength, but short-term weaknesses. Now, the other thing I want to teach you is when you see a very, very large red candle, let me just zoom in, you want to look at what the price action is the next few days. You can take the whole candle, divide it into half, and you want to see whether the stock can move above the top half of this big red candle. If it is able to conquer at least half of it and move back up, then you have a very high possibility that it might be bottoming and move back up. But if it, let's say it moves to the half year and then it declines, then you know that it's weaknesses and the rally, the bounce cannot be trusted and you might see more sell off in the future. Now, the other way is to cut the large red candle into three parts, one third, two third, three thirds. If the stock does, is not able to move above the top one third of this, uh, this lower one third, that means it's extremely weak. Let's say, uh, today it, it bounces about a bit up, reaches here, and then it closes lower. Right. Then you will notice that this is weaknesses and there might be more sell off in the future. Now, the other way to uh, gauge a sustainable rise in Nvidia is to draw this downtrend line. You know, I never really trust a bounce up rally after a sell off unless it breaks above the downtrend line and goes back above the 20 MA. So you might want to see it like this trade and then move back up. Then, then, then this will be sustainable. Otherwise, it will just be bouncing up and down and eventually selling off. Now, um, let's take a look at the seasonality of NVIDIA. For those of you who do not know, seasonality plays a very, very big part. Don't ask me why. Yeah, you all know the tech rally, the Christmas rally, right? It always, uh, tech stocks always go up in you know, October, November, December, and seasonality does really affect stocks, whether you like it or not. And you can go to stockcharts.com, go to the uh, seasonality key in NVIDIA, and here is five, that means five years from 2020 to 2024, and uh, of course, April has not finished yet. So therefore, uh, this is about uh, roughly a data for four years. You can see that in the past, it, the stock has only closed higher than it opened 40% of the time. And the average loss is 4.9. So it's not really surprising that it, this support cannot hold, it's breaking down. So we have just, you know, a uh, very short period of time trading before April ends. So I'm not surprised if it hangs around here or cannot go back above and uh, make close higher. So 40% chance of it close higher than it opened. But May, June, July, August are great months for NVIDIA. So that is why I say if this support holds and we end the trading month around here without dropping, then if it breaks above this downtrend line, it might be a very good buying opportunity for May, June, July, and uh, August. Now, the other thing I want to look is the SMH, which is the semi uh, sector, which is a part of, uh, which NVIDIA is a part of. You can see in the month of April, 20% chance of it closing higher than it opened okay and a negative 3.7 average return so if the sector is very bad of course you can see how it drags uh, nvidia down you can look at amd which is a part of stock you can see how bad it is it has stopped here and well it's just in the downtrend in the daily chart and about to meet the 200 ma so a lot of semi stocks are not really doing well it's only nvidia that's holding on really well until uh, last friday when the trading is really really bad so um but good news in may june and july things are very good for the uh smh where it close a higher 100 percent of the time 75% of the time and 100% of the time with average gains of 7.8 and 7.8 in May and July. So you want to be patient and, uh, um, you know, wait for May. So let's go into the hourly chart. You can see how the breakdown 
here it tried to uh, break a downtrend line here try to break a downtrend line move up unable to go above here like form a double top and then it declined here it also tried to break above a downtrend line but unable to do so right seasonality plays a part in april and of course here it tried to find support but eventually you can see support does not hold uh, right around here here it has started to drop below the 200 ma try to go up found a, make a double top in the 60 minute chart still below the 200 ma in the 60 minute chart and here we have a bearish cross 20 ma cross below 50 ma and that is when the sell off you know happened so at this moment is it a good time to uh, you know buy the stock i don't think so unless you are a day trader playing the bounce at least you want to see it go above this downtrend line but normally for holdings overnight holdings two three days or a week you don't want to buy the stock unless it is above the uh, 60 minute 20 ma and you can see it's declining the 20 ma this red line here so you have to be a bit careful about that mm, weekly let's uh, do a fibonacci on it so you can see that uh, all right it's here all right we can take it here to here Fuck, this is a weekly chart and you can see right now it's about the 38 percent area right just very very nice if the support holds if it stops dropping here you will be at the 38 percent retracement area and this is a very good place to uh, see whether there is a bullish reversal pattern that forms in nvidia and maybe you can go in uh, at cheaper at, at this price so overall we are still in a very bullish market you see that even though there is a big sell off here um, yeah, only at 38% retracement from here to here and if you really want to take the uh, big move right well we'll around the 23% area but of course let's uh, use this anyway what I'm saying is that it is in the weekly uptrend let me just remove all drawings so that you can see it's in a weekly uptrend we are just at long-term strength short-term weaknesses which is why you should look for a slowing down of bearish momentum and maybe pick up the stock uh, cheaper at a later date so i hope that this analysis uh, has been helpful to you and um, that you will be patient that you have learned quite a lot in how to analyze stocks the seasonality and look at multiple time frame analysis so i hope this one helps you and i'll see you in the next one